Witnesses for that certain Aquaman starlet have been purging their timelines on Instagram. And not only are they hiding information, which is telling as is, they've started unfollowing that certain Aquaman starlet. That's right, they're ditching any connection whatsoever. Why? Because JD has added a new heavy hitter name, and this has people panicking and running scared. Yep, it's interesting seeing people that have been in those circles for years breaking rank because of this edition. You and I, we are going to talk about what this means and so much more. Ah, fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh man, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And as far as this freaking out and panicking is concerned, I can understand why it's coming up. I mean, we've seen them panic about other lawyers before. Look at Adam Waldman, for example. They were terrified of it when he actually spoke about this case out loud. Well, you know what? Kathleen Zellner brings legitimacy in mainstream circles. They've been connected to high-profile clients. They've been connected to series like Netflix. This kind of stuff, oh, it's going to get press coverage, and it might equal more. I mean, listen to this here. Notable clients Zellner has represented include Stephen Avery, who was the subject of the 2015 and 2018 Netflix series, Making a Murderer. Avery spent 18 years of a 32-year sentence in prison before he was exonerated by DNA. So we're talking about somebody who has a track record of picking the right side, actually being a winner in this. Yeah, that, oh, that's got to terrify some people. Now, if you look up her name, that's not going to be the only high-profile headline-grabbing case you're going to find either. You'll also find the case of one Kevin Fox. Now, Kevin Fox, he was accused of ending his daughter Ripley's life, but he was exonerated by DNA evidence after Zellner actually believed in his case, decided to represent him, and besides that, she managed to win $15.5 million because he had had his civil rights violated in 2007. Yeah, the press actually paying attention to what's going on, maybe people making series about it, I think that that's part of what they're afraid of, but the other part is that this person makes a really good addition to the team. I mean, if you look, law offices of Kathleen Zellner, what you find out from Go is that this person, this is what they do, rewriting the ending for the wrongly convicted. In 30 years, Kathleen Zellner has righted more wrongful prosecutions than any private attorney in America. And as far as the people surrounding that certain Aquaman starlet are concerned, we already know that this is the thing they fear the most. I mean, you can see this message here, sent to the channel Incredibly Average. Brian off of Incredibly Average posted this. Brian, I get that you think you're on to something and you're defending someone you adore, but what you did with me was bleeped up and out of line. Everything I've ever said in this whole fiasco has been true. You don't, cannot, and will not know the full ins and outs of this situation. Hey, I don't even know, and I knew them both intimately. This nasty mess is between them. Let it be between them. Let the courts decide. And I pray that whatever the truth is, it comes out in the right person against their due. I've been subpoenaed, so I will testify to the truth as I saw it, no matter who the truth benefits or hurts, because that is my duty. In the interim, the fact remains. I was a witness, not a party to this, and everything I swore to was true. I was everywhere I said I was, nowhere I said I wasn't, and I've never been paid a dime by either of them. You're accusing me of all that bleep publicly based on flawed, incomplete information available to you publicly was wrong. You'll never be able to undo that, but now that you've seen all the evidence that I've said I had all along, you can take it down and and at least try to make it right. And this is the last part. The lawyers tell me not to talk to you, but I insist that you are all human beings who ultimately want the truth and for honest, good people to prevail. Now that you have seen the facts and the errors in your quote-unquote reporting, if you don't want to be an honorable person who responds to new information and are, in fact, only in it for the followers and other motives, you will be served with a cease and desist and a slander suit. This 
This is not a joke. This is my life, most of which I've spent fighting for the underdog. Notice how many of these people say that, too. I always fight for the underdog until fight for what you believe in, Brian, but don't take out good people in the process. Yeah. See, that right there tells you they don't want anyone looking beyond the mainstream headlines. And you know why that is, by the way. I mean, a lot of people guess at that, but really, you know why that is? Because they're the ones writing the headlines. This this is an article that came out from 2016. It was entitled, Why I Called 911. It came from Refinery29, a place that put out article after article about this. And you know what side they took in it? Well, again, look at who they're employing to write these things. The same person that doesn't want anyone looking in at all. Yeah, after seeing those past reactions, and remember those past reactions, they were aimed at YouTubers. I mean, effective YouTuber and incredibly average, mind you, but still a YouTuber. So when you look at the reaction that they had to the Kathleen Zellner edition, yeah, that didn't surprise me very much, but you know what it did? It entertained me because it says, oh, there were weak links out there. The weak links, by the way, are going to be people that five years ago saw the merit in standing with all of this, but well, when you're talking about five years, six years after the fact, they no longer have connection. How do you think that rings to them? Because I imagine having to repeat this over and over, I imagine it rings hollow. But if you look at their social media, and again, remember, these folks, they are addicted to social media. I mean, this this isn't something they do to build a platform. This is their identity. Well, look what's left over from today. They have one posts. They deleted every other thing but one post. Again, that would be like taking away their identity. And this gets better, by the way. See, if you look into that one remaining post, what you find out is that this, oh, it goes well beyond what they built all of their clout on. You know, all of those articles they were writing, they were talking about what they supposedly saw in 2016. They purged all of that. They purged all of their current posts going all the way back to 2014, well before any of this stuff supposedly came from. I mean, they purged absolutely everything. When I say that they've removed everything, I mean that they've removed everything too. I'm not just talking about posts. I'm talking about connection. I mean, if you look through their follower list, they follow 2,286 people. But when you search for that certain Aquaman starlet, guess what you find? No users found. That's right. They took down everything. They've severed connection. Basically, they're telling you what they see here. That, oh, that's something that they do not want. And like I said, after five to six years of this stuff, I imagine that it's pretty heavy. I mean, in the moment, again, that, that might have seemed like a good idea to them. They might have seen something that they could actually benefit from. But six years after the fact, apparently, well, that thing, it's running on fumes, if at all. Anyway, let me know what you think, and share this please. Show it to everyone, and thank you for being here. I appreciate the heck out of that, and I mean that sincerely. You want to help out the channel, by the way. There are links in the description. We could always use your help, so definitely check those out. But you sharing this, you being here, that matters. So thank you, I appreciate you, and I want to end here again with a thank you, and a see you soon.